What's going on, guys? Another day off. Appreciate you hanging out with me, joining in today's struggle. Some energy suspension control arm bushings uh, on the daily, on the matrix. My uh, cheap eBay Detroit axle control arms are finally failing after about five years, which is not too bad, honestly, but I've always wanted to do this. Uh, today, we're gonna do just that. It's gonna entail uh, us pushing these bushings out and pressing these ones in. So your new control arm bushings consist of a couple pieces. Uh, there's a bottom piece, this middle piece, and a top piece. Um, we're supposed to press out our old ones. We're gonna retain that uh, metal sleeve on your vertical control arm bushing. And then our horizontal ones we're gonna get, uh, comes with, comes in three pieces. Uh, you get a new bearing race for your horizontal one and uh, two of these uh, polyurethane pieces. I'm expecting this install to go pretty easy, but I'm expecting this to be a nightmare. The sound of the ground. Uh, definitely want to orient them correctly. Let's hope I do that. <laughs> you want to keep this metal ring inside your bushing, inside your uh, control arm. We're not trying to push that out. We need to save that. So we're going to be removing this rubber portion, uh, cleaning out the inside of that uh, bearing race, and we're going to recover this vertical piece. Uh, we're going to clean it up with a wire brush because we need to reuse that part. Uh, I didn't want to mess up, not really mess up, but I didn't want to kind of deal with this um, to where now I have to clean out the uh, bushing. Kind of jump the gun on how uh, I wanted to remove this. I think I should have just heated up the outside and in theory, it would have just melted and slid right out. So we got our control arm and my bolt goes through. Uh, you want to torch up the outside, prevent directly setting the bushing on fire. I think eventually it's just inevitable where it's just going to catch fire, but what we want to do is we're trying to get the rubber to reach its melting point and uh, then the adhesive is going to loosen up and then we're gonna have gravity help us out and push this guy out. I love when a plan works. Sick. Now let's uh, deal with this fire here. What the hell is going on? All right, that went way better than, uh, it went exactly as planned. That's crazy. I like when things work out that way. Um, I just scared the hell out of my wife. <laughs> she thought the garage was on fire. So we're uh, ventilating. But uh, let's go ahead and set up the next one. Let's do it again. All right, guys. I finally, finally got him in. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. All right, so here's how I got these in uh, without the press. So when you install these, there's an orientation on here. There's an arrow, and you want that arrow to go towards the front of the car. And on the instructions, it says you take your vertical. I'm sorry, your horizontal race and that arrow should line up 
right uh, right up against it. I got me some washers, some more washers, and these just fit over over the top of the bushing. Smaller washer, threaded rod, the bolt, and the idea is so you can sandwich everything together and get it pressed in. So I was able to sandwich it down, but also uh, motivate it with some C clamps. Looks like a energy suspension. It's it. Now I'm gonna give it the beans. So I never said that this was an easy way. <laughs> this is not going how the last one went. All right, as you can see, just like that, in three easy steps, I uh, got it manually motivated up in here. Uh, so now next step is we're gonna put in our pin. Um, the instructions say this is the only one that you should be uh, lubing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease this one up and uh, let's get it in. So I figured out a better way to get this thing pushed in. We're not gonna brute force it. <laughs> this is my little sandwich. Let's push this pin down. It works. Take our top piece. Look at that. It's nice. Bottom. Do the same thing. In theory, this should just slide over. Alright. Finally got this thing put together. fight I'll put it, put it that way I don't think there's like an easy way to do this unless you have like you know the absolute right tools but real quick um, get my horizontal bushing in press this in from both sides firmly grasp it and just like that bam now we're ready to put the put these guys in. Hopefully they won't fight me that much. <laughs> and uh, see you guys tomorrow. This part out like this, like that. Come on, you gotta fuck with me. Bam, baby, we got it out. Look at that. That is what we're gonna replace. That is crappy. All right, I'm just gonna clean this area up a little bit with some brake cleaner and we'll be ready to install our new piece.